Hello everyone, it's Elstonasia. Huh? Huh? Did you have a baby? It's time. In the great words of Rafiki, it is time. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Elston. Welcome to my channel, Elston Nation. In this video, I am going to teach you, or tell you at least, how I managed to paint hundreds, if not thousands of minis every single year. Now, before we get to that point, it is time for me to explain a little bit about this entire process. Why in God's green earth do we want to paint all of our minis? Well, that basically comes down to the simple fact that we buy more than we paint. There's not really much more to it. We've all got hobby hoarder syndrome to a certain degree, so yes, we obtain more than we actually produce. Now, this is fine for some people. The hobby collecting is a hobby in its own right. But for me, it's a bit of a OCD, I need to get this done mentality. Some people call this their pile of shame, some people call this their pile of opportunity. I call it my to-do list, because I need to do it. And, yeah, that's basically it, there's no real, nothing else really to it. Now, why is this overwhelming sense of pressure to get things done? Well, basically because you bought too much. The simple conclusion, simple logic is, you collect more than you paint. I just need to iterate that again one more time because some people don't believe it. Now, it's all about time. About time to grasp the problem by its balls and hump it into submission, just like Patch Adams. If you got that reference, then awesome source. If you didn't, I'm sorry for you. Now I say every hobbyist, I'm generalizing here. Don't worry, you elite few that only buy once you've painted something. Don't worry, you are the golden ones. I'm talking to the masses here. Why do we collect so much, I think is a good question. That is, it's about time that we kind of answer that question. Hobby hoarding? That's a big one, to be honest with you. I want more shiny. No real point in denying it, everyone. We've all kind of got it. I don't feel ashamed of it. It's just a thing that happens. Two, you're a meta chaser, a unit that's now become good. You want to get it on the table so that you can win your games. That's absolutely fine as well, if that's your bag. Some of us just like having all the options, which is me. I am a little bit of a meta chaser, I'm not gonna deny it. I write some disgusting lists from time to time, but I do try to warn all my opponents, this is what's happening. And in most of the times, they're relatively good spirits about it. However, I like having all the options because I like playing around and writing different lists and different kind of things. I like trying things out, I like experimenting. That's what I like doing. So, to experiment, I need all the options. Right, I know I've got a problem, don't you worry. I know, I know. You don't need to tell me. But to be honest with you, a lot of you might just like the look of things, or you might have what I call inspiration time on the brain. Now, what is inspiration time? This is a wonderful new phrase that I'm coining that we get inspired and we think that we're going to do something in a miraculous amount of time. We've seen one too many montages and we think, okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going to smash this out in a montage. Now, I don't want to explain idiot things to people, but montages are a cut down sequence of time. They usually span over a very long period of time, but we don't display them in videos or movies because it's boring as shit to watch. So, montage time, inspiration time. I'm inspired to do this. This is a great idea. The shop manager has just convinced me into buying this lot because he said, if I do this, then I can achieve this. This is great. I've just been inspired to do all these things and I've walked out with 300 pounds worth of toy soldiers. Now, what the store manager didn't tell you was the simple fact that that 300 pounds worth of miniatures is gonna take you two months to assemble, let alone paint. Painting takes a little bit longer. Now, as I said at the beginning, this is not including everyone. I'm shouting out to the masses here. I am not talking about you elite few that can paint as fast as you can buy. I applaud you, I'm with you. But for everyone else, inspiration time is a real problem. 
And it's what I think a lot of people need to understand. So, how do we combat this? I'm gonna link you to a video from a friend of mine, Ben from Benji's Hobbies. He did a video sort of explaining what I'm gonna to explain to you, but in a very cut down version. Now, this video contained the essence of paint 15 minutes a day and see how much you can get done. And he was able to produce more than he thought he could because he painted 15 minutes a day. And as the good old supermarket saying, say every little helps. Now, what we might do as a weird default reaction is we might well go, I just painted five models. Awesome. I should go get 10 more. And that's not really what you should do, but I bet a lot of you do it. Don't you worry. I've done it as well. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not accusing. I've done it as well. So don't worry. Just saying, we need to identify the issue to be able to fix said issue. Now, what can we do to combat this problem? There are multiple techniques we can use. We can use zenithal highlights, we can use contrast paints, we can use El Slappy Choppe, which seems to be the new craze at the present moment in time. We can use multiple different things, different tools, airbrushes, dry brushes, dipping inks, whatever you fancy or achieving your hobby goal. You might not necessarily be a painter, you might be a converter or a builder or a terrain maker. Inspiration time's a real thing, and this combines with shiny syndrome. Shiny syndrome is a thing which I have a real problem with when something new comes out and it's just the best and you need to have it so you go get it, even though you've got hundreds more to do. It's also about timing as well. You may well buy something at a certain period of time with shiny syndrome involved, but by the time you get around to that thing, that thing is no longer cool and something else has come out to replace it. Or another idea has come along to replace that one. Or another idea has come along and inspired you to do something else with inspiration time and a hopeful montage that you will achieve it and then get back to your other pile of shame of what you believed you should do before when that was the most important thing before you knew needed to do the thing you just bought. Still with me? So, shiny syndrome, that's a problem. Inspiration time, that's a problem as well. How the hell do we fix it? How the hell do we stop it? How do we get to the point where we are painting more than what we are purchasing? I've been mentioning it throughout the entire video, but just to let you know, it's about Time. 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 Time to time. 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 Time is the key factor to all of this, regardless of what technique you use or how you get around things, whether it be oil paints, oil washes, slap chop, dry brushing, zenithal highlights, airbrushing, whatever it may be, time is the ultimate factor. Now, why am I doing this video now? Because I'm in the process of something I'm calling Operation finish all projects, AKA FAP. At this point in the video, I just want to interrupt a little bit here to explain a little bit more about Operation FAP. Now, first off, don't Google FAP or FAPping. Don't, oh, for fuck's sake, you did it. Right, okay, it's not that kind of fapping, okay? It's not that. Finish all projects is the essence of what we're gonna do on batch painting, but on a monumental scale. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna assemble all the models, then we're gonna prime all the models, then we're gonna base coat all the models, then we're gonna highlight all the models, and then we're gonna carry on in that step. Now we might not necessarily do them all completely in that essence, but as many steps as we can to shrink it down to a manageable point is what we're gonna achieve. So I have assembled everything. I'm now in a case of priming everything. I'm then gonna zenithal highlight everything. And then I'm probably do it one army at a time because God, that's gonna be a weird thing trying to base coat every single army. But that's Operation Fap, not the other kind of fapping. Just to make you aware. Okay, back to the video. My brain has calculated that currently my output is greater than my collection. I am painting more than I am purchasing. So the eventual conclusion to all of that for everyone that knows how this stuff works is I'll finish it all. The mythical quest to finish all of your models. Mythical, right? I'm going to try it. Now I've developed a technique, a habit, a style, a thing which helps me do that. And as I mentioned, it's all about time. I have an almost pathological sense of completionism. I need to get stuff done. 
and I think in grander schemes than a lot of other people do as well. Now that's not to shit on anyone's parade, that's just the way I operate. As I said, pathological, so it's not always the healthiest thing in the world. Basically, we need more time. Think about how often you actually paint, how often you do your hobby, how often does it actually happen? And be real with yourself, just for a second there. I know this is YouTube land and this is what we do to escape, but just have a think. How long do you actually do hobby a day? Or a week, or a month, how long? How long? Rolling back to Ben's video, 15 minutes a day is still an incredible amount of time. If you said maybe an hour or two a week, you might want to think about how quickly you actually get stuff done. And this is where I also want you to take another step into thinking. Trust me, I'm not going to ask many more questions that challenge your brains. I know YouTube videos are supposed to be entertaining, but I just want you to think for a second. How long does it actually take you? Actually take you to do something? Have you measured it? Have you actually gone, okay, time myself. Go. Does it take you five minutes? Does it take you 20 minutes to assemble a model? Does it take you 30 minutes? Does it take you an hour? How long does it take you to do that? How long does it take you to paint a model? Does it take you this long? Does it take you this long? Now, this is a variable question. I say variable. This is in the essence of this can be confusing because using different techniques can speed this along. So this is where your snap chops and all that stuff come into play. And I'm saying this all as in there is like a law. You have to do this. It's not. You do whatever the hell you want. It's a hobby at the end of the day. But if you want to tip the scales in the other direction, have a think about it, all right? Just have a think. So if you want to complete it all, you need to get more time. Now, when can you get that more time? When can you get that more time? Am I speaking English right now? Anyway, when can you get more time? I can't really answer this one for you. You have to think about this one. You might be a parent. You might have obligations to your children and your family. You might be a dog owner. You have obligations to your dog. You might be married. You might be with a partner. You have obligations to them, to your family, to anyone else, to someone you look after. With all of this, you need to bear this in mind. With what I'm about to tell you, do not sacrifice your loved ones for this. Do not sacrifice your time and your care for the people you care about at all. But there is time to be found. Here's the secret. Anyone that's been watching my live streams way back when or anyone that's spoken to me in person knows this trick already. I wake up about four o'clock in the morning every single day. My method, my madness is I wake up early, no one else is up that early, and I'm just waking up. I just get better and better. I find if I paint later, I just get worse and worse because I'm getting more tired. I've just flipped it the other way around. You might be better in the evening. Do what you gotta do. It means I have about three hours worth of painting time every single morning. Now, let's take a little bit of a look back to Ben's video. He did five models over eight days at 15 minutes a day. That equates to 2.5 models per hour. If you wanted to make it simpler, five models every two hours, fully painted. Now, every single day I get three hours in. So I can paint 7.5 models every single morning. If we use Ben's logic here, that is, that works out as 15 models every two days. That's 30 models every four days. That's 45 models every six days. And 52.5 models every single week. Now, when Ben was doing his video as well, he, was, he wasn't he was really implementing that much batch painting techniques. If you implement batch painting techniques like slap chop or just simple batch painting, you can get this done quicker. So it is quite probable that you could achieve maybe close to 100 models a week. Now with that kind of numbers, we're really starting to knock down the buying versus production element. The one thing I would say to bear in mind with this, when waking up at four o'clock every morning, it can mess with your head and mess with your body. So I wouldn't advise doing it. As personal advice, I maybe do two days on a trot, then have a lion. Then do another two days, have a lion. If you do any more than that, you can find your psyche is a little bit frayed and you're a little bit grumpy and... Also as well, if you are a night owl instead of an early riser, this is gonna completely fuck with you. But again, finding more time. That's the important thing, finding more time.
Now, when I've said all of this, it sounds like, yes, you've got to do this. This is the plan. It's not. You don't have to do any of this. This is just what I do, because I really want to complete all of this stuff. But you don't have to. However, if it is bugging you that you can't do this, then yeah, just maybe slow down on the buying. Also as well, remember, inspirational time. You think it's gonna be a lot quicker than what it actually is. I know some people that do this and they think, I know, this month, I'm going to complete this. They didn't quite take into account every single thing that they do in their lives. And I like to think I try to do my best with that. And there's nothing wrong with it as well. So before you jump down my throat, before you have a go at me, you know who you are. Yes, I'm looking at you. Yes, this message is for you. Yes, yes, I'm talking to you. Yes, you. For content creators as well, we are especially prone to having this problem as well because we want to get onto the next biggest thing. We want to get involved. We've got more things to do. More shinies are coming out. We need to advertise ourselves more and more. We can't just disappear off the face of the map. Unlike me who does that every now and again. So that's why I disappear for a couple of months. I'm just painting like a madman. But understanding what we can, we can't do. It's just part of it. At this point in the video, I don't know if there's really much more I can tell you without this going on for far too bloody long. And to be honest with you, this has been a rambly enough video as it is. Ladies and gentlemen, that was my ramble. That's my secret. That's how I paint thousands of models every single year. Not everyone can do it. You might not have the ability to find that time. You might have responsibilities that don't grant you that time. And that's absolutely fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Or as Dave from MS Paint said, just slow down your buying and balance it out that way. Also as well, thank you to Dave, thank you to Ben, and thank you, Mr. I'm going to paint it in a month. You gave me the inspiration for this video, so thank you for that one. Love you, buddy. Here's, well, that was Timmy the Titan. I don't know what this one's name is. Anyone want to come up with a name? Stick it in the comments below. I've been Alston. That's my secret to painting models very quickly. If you have any questions about it, please let me know in the comments below. I will try my best to answer them, but to be honest with you, you just got to get your nose to the grindstone and get it done. So, I'm going to love you, I'm going to leave you, and until next time, be good, be safe, be good to each other, and see you then. Bye-bye.